everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi my name is Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video So in today's video, I'm going to be presenting you the best and most affordable bags from Chanel. So if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know that I'm obsessed with the brand. It's definitely my favorite brand, but it's a very expensive brand. However, I try to keep the price of these bags that I chose under $5,000 and I say I tried because it was very, very complicated. But if you're curious to see what my choices are, then please keep on watching. So unfortunately for me, these are going to be bags that are not currently in my collection. So I will be including pictures either here or here. And let's jump right ahead with the first one. The first model that I want to show you is called the Chanel um, Clutch with a Chain. It's in multicolor and features wool tweed and gold tone hardware. And it currently retails for $3,050 plus tax. So obviously that is a whole lot of money. I am well aware of that, but for Chanel, a bag that's close to $3,000 is actually not that much money. So what I like about it, um, other than the price, of course, is um, how versatile it can be. So I love the color. Um, like it says, it's called multicolor. I feel like you can pair this very well with different outfits that features different color for different kind of seasons, scenarios, events. Um, so it's very, very easy to pair it with pretty much anything. And then obviously the shape is super duper cute. So it kind of resembles like a mini vanity. Um, there's a mirror inside, so very practical. Um, if you have like a nighttime event and you want to possibly redo your makeup, I feel like that's always very useful. Um, and then I like the size of it. So I feel like unlike other very, very small bags or even mini bags, it still fits like a reasonable amount of stuff um, that you could actually use this as a bag versus, you know, some other mini bags, they're called bags, but frankly, if you can't even fit like, you know, I don't know, like a card holder, then for me, it really should not be a bag. But here, it seems feasible to carry pretty much your bare minimum essentials um, in it. It's versatile, it's Chanel, so I mean, it's very hard to go wrong with that. Um, I love the color, I love the fact that it's multicolor. Gold hardware is also very nice, and I feel like it's more suited for an evening bag, which this one would probably be a little bit more of an evening bag than a day bag. So I feel like all in all, perfect. I love this option. My next bag option is going to be even less expensive, so we have that on our side. And it's going to be called the Chanel also clutch with chain but this time it's in black and it features um, sequin embroidered tweed it's in silver hardware and it retails for $2,850 plus tax so price wise um, very 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 reasonable I love this bag I feel like out of all the bags that I'm going to show you in this video this is by far my favorite one um, I am in love with it. So I have yet to see it in the store. Um, that being said, I have yet to see it in person, but like this on paper, it is so gorgeous. The shape of it is adorable. Um, it's very, very cute, but not childish. I think there is like an important in between that needs to happen, at least for me. So because I'm 5'11 or 180 centimeters, I'm very, very tall. So small mini bags that look a bit childlike often do not look good on me at all. So I'm, for example, thinking of like the Chanel Star bag, that kind of bag is, is a no-go for me or it looks terrible on me. Um, I can more or less do um, some small slash mini bags, but they have to look a little bit more grown up. And I feel like this one really has that going for itself. So that's what I love about this handbag. And then obviously it's tweed. Um, you will see a lot of tweed options in this video. I think that, you know, I'm kind of more and more thinking about acquiring a tweed bag. Um, I'm really, really trying to save up this year and not spend on a Chanel bag. But um, doing this video is making it very difficult. 
So um, I feel like, you know, tweed is such an interesting fabric. The texture of it is really beautiful. It's really intricate. Um, so right here, because it's black, I would say that this bag is most geared towards um, the fall and then the winter, maybe spring a little bit, but definitely not a summer bag. Um, but I mean, it's so cute. It looks so adorable, but without being like, you know, childlike. So for me, it's the perfect scenario. Um, this is really a bag that I'm kind of like considering, um, especially because the price is very reasonable. So this would allow me to have a new handbag from Chanel while not spending like $10,000. So this year I'm saving up to have an Eau de Marpillet watch, um, which is obviously very, 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 very costly. <laughs> so um, I think I'm going to try to limit my spendings on you know other things like other pieces of jewelry and handbags. But this bag from Chanel is very tempting. Our next bag is going to be the Chanel small vanity case. It's going to be in white with shiny lambskin and then gold hardware. And it retails for $4,900 plus tax. So quite obviously we have moved price ranges. Um, that's for sure. But uh, the nice thing about this bag is it's actually a lot more roomier than all of the bags that I've showed you previously. Um, this is probably one of the largest bags of this entire video. So I appreciate the fact that you can fit a whole lot more than what you could in the other bags. You could fit like a phone, you know, like really you do not have to limit yourself to the absolute bare minimum essentials. So that's what I like about it. Um, I like the fact that it's white. I'm slowly trying to build up like a white bag collection, again, without spending like, you know, a ridiculous amount of money on it. So currently um, my only white bag is a Dior bag. It's a Dior medium size bobby bag. Um, and it's in this beautiful like a uh, cream or off-white color called latte, which I really, really love. Um, and I feel like I've been doing a good job of like wearing it and kind of, you know, being okay with potential, I'm gonna say potential color transfer. So I feel like I'm ready for a Chanel bag that's white, but not necessarily like, you know, the full size like flat bag that retails for like 10K. So for me, this would be kind of a good compromise or a good in between to kind of see how well, you know, I can get acclimated um, to, um, you know, a Chanel um, white bag. The only concern that I would have is that it is lambskin leather and it's not caviar. So in terms of, um, you know, potential scratches, even maybe a little bit more color transfer than what would happen on a caviar bag or more easily, um, you know, stainable that it wouldn't necessarily, like the stains wouldn't necessarily come off as easily as if it were in caviar. That does kind of concern me, but at the same time, I feel like the price tag really is still reasonable for Chanel. So if you are looking for a white bag and you don't necessarily want to spend like a lot of money on it, but you still want something of quality, you still want like a nice brand, this is a terrific option. Next, we have a Chanel mini flat bag in green with lambskin and gold hardware. And this bag retails for $4,400 plus tax. So what I would say I appreciate the most about this bag is actually the fact that it is a very classic and classy model from the brand. So up until now, all of the other models that I've shown you were either seasonal models or seasonal colors or um, kind of like, you know, these like different models that weren't like the iconic line from Chanel. And so obviously with the mini flat bag, it's really, really hard to go wrong. <laughs> um, it's, it's really their ba base model. So that's what I like a lot about this bag. And then the color. I know that green is not for everybody. And I know that this shade of green is also not for everybody who likes green. But I am trying to be a little bit more adventurous with the colors of bags that I have. Simply because I feel like I've reached a point in my um, bag collection journey where now I have a lot of these essential bags and a lot of these like essential colors. Um, like, you know, black, beige. Um, you know, that kind of stuff, like pink, and I'm trying to kind of like slowly move away from these basic colors and kind of like venture into different colors. So I am trying to acquire, of course not this year because I'm saving up money, we already said that, but um, I am trying to acquire, I would say a green bag, that's definitely something that's missing in my bag collection, and then possibly like a red bag as well, and then maybe gray. I know gray is still like a very classic color, but I actually don't have one yet. So um, these would be like the three colors that I would like to add. 
By the way, if you are interested in seeing the roughly speaking current state of my luxury bag collection, then I will go ahead and leave the link to the video in the little information link over here for you to see it. By the way, do let me know in the comments down below what you would recommend for me to add um, to that collection. I would really love to find out, but for me, green is an essential and really for the price tag of like $4,400, it's really not bad at all. Um, I feel like the bag model is iconic. So I like the combination of having kind of like an off like color, like a different color, like a seasonal kind of, you know, different color. Um, not a classic color, but a classic model. I don't think that I can do like a seasonal color plus a seasonal bag. I like the combination of like the classic model plus the seasonal color. I feel like that works really well for me. So I would be excited to see this bag in person. It's not something that I've seen in person yet. Obviously I know the bag model quite well. So the only thing that I would really need to check is the shade of green, but I feel like it's really the perfect, I don't know, like olive green type of stuff. So I'm excited and I feel like it's a great option from Chanel right now. So next up we have another Chanel mini flat bag. This time it's going to be in pink. It's in tweed and features silver hardware. And this bag retails for $5,200 plus tax. So this is actually the most expensive bag that I will show you in this video. Um, I know we're slightly above the $5,000 marks, but at the same time, this bag is gorgeous. It is incredibly beautiful. So I would say well worth the price tag. Um, so I think the price tag kind of comes from the fact that, well, it is a classic model for sure because it's a mini flat bag and then it's in a classic color as well. I mean, who doesn't love a light pink? I feel like it's easy going. Um, you can kind of wear this more or less year round, um, especially because it's in tweed. I think that's an interesting combination. Tweed is generally speaking a little bit more geared towards you know, fall and winter. So having the combination of the tweed and then the light pink makes it really perfect for year round. Um, it could be a perfect day bag as well as it could be, you know, a really good evening bag. So it's like incredibly versatile and incredibly easy to transition it from day to night, from like, you know, work to um, having fun. So I love this handbag. I feel like all in all, this is a great starter bag, I would say for Chanel because you're still investing your money in like a classic model, but we're not looking at prices like $10,000. It's not like outside of reach. Um, so that's what I like about this bag. Um, I am trying not to go see it in person because I know exactly what will happen if I do. And um, I'm, I'm really, really trying my hardest to save money. So this isn't the best idea for now, but um, otherwise I feel like if you are you know, saving up for a handbag, this would be really worth to look at. And the color is really gorgeous. I, I can't say enough good things about it. It's very girly, it's very sweet, but not like, you know, stupid or like childlike at the same time. So that's one of the things that I really like about this bag. And lastly, we have the Chanel mini shopping bag. Again, it features pink tweed and then this time gold hardware. And the bag retails for $4,200 plus tax. It is fairly similar, I would say, to the previous bag. Um, the shade of pink is slightly different. And then obviously it's not the same bag model. It's not one of these iconic bag models. But if you are trying to save money and somehow cut corners, like $4,200 versus $5,200, you know, there's like a thousand dollar difference. So that would be a great idea um, if, you know, your budget is tight, but you're still trying to have a Chanel starter bag, that would be a great recommendation. Um, I feel like once again, you know, it has all of the attributes that the other bag possessed, um, minus the hefty price tag. <laughs> so uh, for me, this is like a win-win. Um, and I would say even more so about the color. So the color here for the pink tweed seems even more versatile, I would say, than for the previous bag, because the previous bag was a little bit of a lighter pink, so maybe not so, so good in the winter time. But since this is kind of like a darker pink, this is perfect for any season. You'll be able to wear this very easily in the winter and in the fall as well. So I would highly recommend it. I feel like, you know, it's not something that you can go wrong with. And if you do decide that you're not, you know, like in love with it and that you kind of made a mistake or something, um, this is going to be the type of bag that's going to be fairly easy to resell. So 
definitely a good point when looking at handbags. I still have this thing where um, if I feel like I'm not going to be able to sell it for at least the price that I purchased the bag for, then um, in my mind it's kind of like, mmm, you know, very iffy. Then I start thinking about like, do I really, really need this bag? Am I going to use it a whole ton? Or will it stay in my closet? So um, even if you do decide that it's not for you, you'll be able to sell it easily. It's very classic. It's very classy, gorgeous. So that's it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was informational and beneficial for you in case you were looking at acquiring a Chanel bag on a budget. I feel like those are some very, very good, um, strong models, but for reasonable-ish prices. Um, I really tried my hardest to keep it you know, at a low price point while not featuring bags that I felt were um, either not classy or um, really you know, kind of weird looking or um, really not practical that, you know, couldn't fit a phone or couldn't fit like the bare minimum. So um, I really tried to find actual handbags um, with actual normal prices. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.